Hey folks, it's me Rick and I'm making a video. Actually, I'm making a video under pressure because um, I've been scolded by a couple of YouTubers for um, not making a video lately. And um, so the pressure's on and anyone that knows me knows I crack under pressure very easy. So here I am. I, um, now I haven't been around. It's been really nice out and I have a tough time sitting in front of a computer when it's nice out. You know, there's a lot to do out in the world and uh, I've been really busy in the last couple of weeks and uh, so I figured today let me give it some time but you know it's kind of funny I have a little four-year-old nephew waiting for me to go to the park and uh, never ever ever disappoint a four-year-old because uh, you'll never hear at the end of it and also he's a really cool little kid I'm a cool uncle so we're gonna go play on uh, the jungle gyms and um, so let me hurry up because I know he's waiting for me now I haven't uh, really been uh, thinking about what to make a video about and I have nothing to talk about. So I went online this morning and I saw Katie Oopspa um, answering a tag video from Kelly Rose One and it hit me. I was tagged by Kelly Rose a few days ago and I wrote the questions down but I never made the video so I'm sorry and I'm going to answer your questions now. Kelly Rose won. But I am going to pull Oops Spot and only answer a few of them because I really do have to fly. Um, okay, um, let's see here. Number one is, what is your most memorable moment? That was a tough one. I think the minute I heard the question, though, uh, the first thing that jumped to my mind was uh, the day that I got in my Jeep and I drove out to um, Shanksville, Pennsylvania. And that's, where the, um, that's a site where... United Flight 93 crashed um, on 9-11 and I have a personal connection with that flight and I'm somebody that was on it and it's um, I went out there to meet his family out there and it was definitely a um, surreal moment. I didn't realize how it would affect me looking out in that field where this airplane crashed and it just hits you knowing what these people went through on that airplane and giving up their own lives to save other lives. It was an incredible gesture and uh, moment in history I think and um, another amazing thing about out there was this place is in the middle of nowhere and there were hundreds and hundreds of people out there and um, there is no official memorial out there they these people the public started their own memorial for them and um, it's beautiful it's just gorgeous and it's uh, you know they say that every single day hundreds of people show up at this site and it's a nice thing, it really is. And actually, I would recommend anyone to go out there, but if you can't, just look it up online. Shanksville, Pennsylvania, United Flight 93 Memorial. And um, although they are, the government is um, beginning to build a memorial right now, they just broke ground out there. Um, but I think the um, public memorial is definitely what, uh, what affects you. And it really hits home. Okay, number two is, um, who on YouTube are you most connected with? Now, the person I'm most connected with at YouTube, you guys have never seen before. Now, you've seen her hands, maybe. You um, heard her voice, but you've never seen her face before. And um, she makes a lot of comments on here, and she's the Valgary vegan, Mary. And she's someone I had the honor of meeting and uh, become friends with. And she's someone that is just full of life and so positive and good natured. She is who she is. There's no hid hidden agendas with her. There's just her. It's just, you know, she has the most incredible advice. She has a huge heart and a great way of speaking. And um, so I think I'm most connected with her. And the person on here that makes videos I think I'm most connected with would definitely be Oops by Katie, uh, who always makes me smile, who could, uh, you know, make you feel good even when you're really sad. And um, her, her quirkiness, her silliness, her laugh or um, trying uh, new fruits and just her stories are all awesome and even though I make fun of you sometimes Katie I really do appreciate you and um, and want to thank you for making these great videos okay um, number three is um, if I want a million dollars but to collect it I would have to give to a charity or to people who or what would I help and uh, I'm definitely not money driven um, you know, what I do for a living, I can make a lot more at other places, but I stay where I am because I love the people I work with. 
and um, money's just never been a major factor in my life. So um, I would definitely give to people and charities. Now, what charity? I don't know because I feel guilty if I said one and left another one out because I am a sucker, and um, I'm one of those people that would give it all away in a year and uh, live in a cardboard box somewhere. But you know what? It's only money. I mean, seriously. People gotta lighten up about money. Okay, um, what are my hobbies? Now, since I was a little boy, my dad got me um, into collecting Superman things. And I still collect it. Um, I still do it. It's uh, just something I love doing. I also um, do a, well, I used to do a lot of mountain biking. I didn't do it at all last year and I miss it. And hopefully later on today, I can get out to the bike shop and take a look at some bikes. And I wanna get a new one. I want to get back into it, and um, I like working out, it's another hobby, and um, another thing I started last year is geocaching, which I mentioned before in some videos, and I will be making another video on how to geocache. Um, I want to get a little bit nicer out, because I want it to be pretty out there when I make it. It's a lot of hiking and stuff like that, it's a lot of fun. All right, um, what thing would I change um, about myself, wait a minute, I read that wrong, what one thing? <laughs> would I change about my past? Um, damn, that's tough too. But uh, one of the things I think I would love, like to change was um, the fact that um, I wish I told people I was gay much earlier in life. I think I've made, I would have saved myself so much grief and because the reaction from people was so positive and um, you know, it was a great experience and um, I sat there thinking, damn, I should have said this a long time ago because uh, Life is so much easier when you're being honest about who you are and uh, letting your friends know who you are. It's so important. And um, so that I think I would have changed. I would think I would have said it a lot earlier. Um, you know, it's a frightening step to take sometimes. But um, once you take it, it feels like you can fly. It's just an awesome feeling. So it's the honesty. I think that's what it is. Being honest with yourself and the whole bit. Now, I think I answered um, the five questions I was going to answer. I think that was five, if not. But um, I do have to go, you know, guys. Um, peace out. Take care. And, um, you know, see you soon. All right, get out in the world, guys. It's beautiful out there. All right, bye.